Hello friends, a fatigued Metapod is here. We are trying again to defeat Oblivion in Romancing Saga 3. I did this for several days and then kind of gave up on it and now I'm coming back to it. I mean, I was playing several attempts every day, like for a few hours every day, uh, attempting this over and over. And uh, I finally asked on GameFAQs for some help. Um, I was doing okay, I guess, but there's some stuff I didn't realize. First of all, this I realized on my own. I went and looked at my ward spells, my ward skills, and uh, I have Bone Crusher Ward and Net Ward, which it does Ectoplasm Net and Bone Crusher, so I'm able to dodge those now. And then from Game Facts, I learned that uh, this formation apparently halves the damage done to you. I'm not sure if that's entirely true, but it does feel like I'm taking a lot less damage than before, or at least having to heal a lot less than before, so I think this formation is the way to go, the Tiger's Ferocity. Um, and then the other thing I learned is that when it gets to its final form, it gets more powerful every turn which includes its max HP, which raises its current HP by a percentage based on what its current HP was compared to its max HP. So you really have to rush it when you get to that form. And yeah, I had an attempt before I learned that that took like, that I was playing really carefully. And I spent like a half an hour fighting the final form and it never died. So it only has 15,000 HP, but that HP is going up every turn, the max HP and current HP. So you really got to rush. Um, everyone's still pretty healthy, so I'm just going to attack. Bone Crusher, nice. Keep doing that, and I will not complain. So uh, it usually takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to get her into her final form, and then I die. Uh, my first attempt of the day today, she put everyone to sleep and then killed everyone before anyone could wake up. And I was super freaking mad. And uh, yeah, but I'm still going. I'm still chugging. Still chugging. Okay, that's good, because it does no damage to him. <sighs> he misses a lot. Okay, we're definitely going to have to heal this turn, <laughs> this next turn. Because Yang has lost lots of HP. Yang has terrible defense. Um, I don't think I have enough, like, uh, items to really beef up my entire party, so Jan kind of uh, takes the shaft in that regard. Frost? I don't remember that. Oh my gosh. I did a lot of damage. <laughs> I might have to break a Staff of Vivacity early. I don't want to break a staff, though. I'm not going to do it. I'll do a round of healing if I have to. Let's see what everyone's HP is like. Oh, we're actually pretty good. I'll just heal Tiberius. Ward is kind of low. I'll have Monica heal Ward. Oof, mega suction. Ooh, it missed Yang. That's nice because it does tons of damage to Yang, but not that much to everyone else. <laughs> but it's always scary when she does it. Sometimes it seems to do a lot to some people. Oh, Grand Claws is bad. For some reason, when she attacks Tiberius with Grand Claws, it does nothing. I have no idea why, but it just does nothing. 
Like, it doesn't miss, it just doesn't do anything. I don't understand why, but I'm happy with it. That was good timing on that Ray of Hope. And now it's turning into its other form. And then the other thing I learned from Game Facts is that when it turns into this form, what causes it to turn back is using lunar or solar magic. So that's what I was doing that made it turn back. It's not healing or refusing to attack it, it's lunar or solar magic, which happens to be how I heal with everyone, so... Okay, we might have to do a little mixed up healing here. Okay, we'll have Monica heal Tibby, and then Tibby will heal Monica. Everyone else will heal themselves. And heal Golden Dragon. a lot of damage, but it's one of the lesser terrifying of her attacks. Come on, turn back. Just turn back now and don't... Chaos Disaster. Oh no, they both hit Tiberius. Oh, he didn't die. Good. Yes, and it turned back. So everyone's gonna get a little heal, and then he's gonna heal Monica. We should be really good for next turn. We might actually not have to heal with anybody next turn. I forgot it is 190. That's so good. I mean, I've been playing this. This is like my fourth attempt tonight, and like somehow I forgot that that's what it does. For some reason, I think it's gonna do 99, but it is 190. Um, everyone is really good on HP, uh, just under max, and uh, Tibby and Trucks are both at max, so we'll uh, go back to attacking with everyone. Oh, why is that? Yes, it missed Tiberius, or it missed Yang again. It doesn't do that much to everyone else, so... But it does like 200 to Yang and like 50 to everyone else. I also changed all my equipment to really up magic defense, uh, because it doesn't have that many physical attacks, and... Uh, the magic attacks are more devastating than the physical attacks. So that plus the Tiger's Frosty formation sh seems to be helping a lot so that we're not having to heal nearly as much, which will especially help when we get to the final form, uh, because I, because this is my fourth attempt at this tonight and they're all blurring together, I don't remember if I've said this yet or not, but the final form um, continues to heal itself every turn. Basically every turn it gets stronger, all its stats go up, which include max HP. And then its current HP goes up a percentage based on what it was compared to max HP. So like, it's constantly healing and getting stronger every turn, which is ridiculous. Okay, we're definitely gonna need to heal this next turn. It did some pretty gruesome stuff for this form. Usually this form is not so scary, but it did some uh, pretty intense stuff. Yeah, we need to heal, like, everybody. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll do a round of self-healing? I think that's what we'll do. Though, so we'll have um, him heal Tiberius and Tiberius heal him. She'll actually heal Ward. And the reason I chose that is because that doesn't do very much damage to him, or to her. And I was hoping it would use that on her, which it did! I forgot his Lunar Light does a lot of heal. He could have just healed himself. I got stunned! No! 
I think her Lunar Light is actually the weakest. Let's see. Yeah, it is. Oof. Man, why is it doing so much? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a bad time for it to turn into the other form because Yang's probably gonna die. Because it deals like a hundred something damage to him every turn. Just from being in this form. I'm gonna sit on my foot and maybe that will help. Okay, I'm not actually sitting on my foot. I'm like pressing my thigh up against my foot. 105 damage and there he goes. Um. Everyone's just gonna heal themselves, and he's gonna Golden Dragon. Or should he heal Yang? Monica has the most HP. He'll just heal himself. Good, Fatal Mirror does nothing. I still haven't figured out what it's supposed to do, but it always just misses everybody, or if it doesn't miss, it doesn't seem to do anything to them, so... It's probably, like, lowering all their stats, and I just don't realize. Yes! Okay, I, this is something else I learned from Game Facts, which I don't know if I said it yet. When you're in this form, the way it turns back to its other form is by using Lunar or Solar Magic. And uh, not from healing or refusing to attack it or whatever, it's from Lunar or Solar Magic, which happens to be the way I heal with everyone, so that's nice. Let's see, it's only been 12 minutes so far, so we're probably not anywhere near the final form. And everyone should be pretty good on HP now, except for Yang, so uh, this next turn should be pretty simple. Have everyone go back to attacking. Except him, heal Yang. Three damage and he didn't get stunned. I'll take it. You know, Yang's heal is pretty good. I should be using Yang to heal and Tibby to attack. Let's see, uh, Trux needs the heal, so let's actually try that. Let's Lunar Light on Trux, and then uh, keep up the attacks on everyone else, and switch him over to Thunderclap. Ah, Grand Claws! There's a lot of damage. For some reason, when that hits Tiberius, it does no damage. Like, it does nothing. Like, it like doesn't affect him at all. Ugh. It hit the two who are not resistant to it. Okay, let's see how much this does. 409. Okay, yeah, he has the best heals out of everyone. So I should be healing with Yang instead of with Tiberius. Lesson learned. Oof. Man, it got a good attack turn this turn. It really punched me with some damage. It still has another attack and it just hit Monica and Trucks. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, I don't think it should be going to final form yet. Yeah, because I didn't hurt it. So it's not going into final form. We still have a chance for it to turn back once and heal everyone. Oh my gosh, Ward Knight too. Okay, Monica's doing good on HP though, so she's going to... Heal... Ward.
though he'll probably just die again. Unless it turns back, change back now. Because we're doing lunar magic, see lunar magic. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh. I hate this fight so much. This is definitely the hardest final boss I've ever fought in an RPG. No, shout out to Necron from Final Fantasy IX because when I was oops, spoilers. When I was fighting that as a kid, like I was such low level because I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And I say as a kid, but I was like 18 or something for Final Fantasy IX. But when I was younger I didn't like grind and I didn't grind or do side quests or anything. I just kinda ran straight through the story of RPGs and didn't really like know what I was doing, so I didn't get a lot of good abilities or anything. And like I was really low level and underpowered for the final boss of Final Fantasy IX and did uh still was able to beat it though. I still think this is harder than that. And it's definitely harder than it actually is if you like power up your team normally going through the game. Um and I feel like I have a pretty strong team in this game, so. Okay, he's gonna heal himself and everyone else is gonna go back to attacking. I should put Monica in the center of the formation because this is her harem. Her fuzzy faced harem. At least it did it after he healed himself. And uh, so she should be in the center. But I didn't care, I just switched over to this formation and started playing because I'm so tired of this. Oh my gosh. He didn't die though. <laughs> And everyone else is actually pretty decent on HP. Uh, Ward's a little low, so we'll have uh, Tiberius can heal Ward. Because I think Monica does more damage than Tiberius. Wade Net is good, because I put the Ward spells on, or the Ward skills on for Net and Bone Crusher. I'm probably repeating myself a ton. Um. Because like I said, and I know I've said this at least once or twice this run, this is like my fourth or fifth attempt of the night. This is like my like 50th millionth attempt overall, and I don't know what I've said in each video and what I haven't said yet as I go. Crap, it might be going into final form. It's been 18 minutes so far, and based on where everyone's SP and MP is, it's probably getting really close to final form. And Yang's probably gonna die. I hate how long this takes. <laughs> Especially when you want to know if it's going into Final Four or not, and you're like so anxious. And it's like, void wings! <laughs> oh, it's Final Four now. Okay, so we really gotta rush it. Um, Yang died. We'll have Monica break her staff. And so yeah, its HP is going up every turn. It only has 15,000 to start! But uh, this is something only in the uh, remaster version, is that it gets stronger every turn. So apparently in the Super Famicom version it was a lot easier to beat. Oh, come on. Don't kill Trox, please. Oh, he might die from... Oh, he didn't. Okay. Um, he has the other staff, so he's gonna break it. He's the fastest character, I think, so... Yes, he got to go first. And then hopefully it just doesn't 
do too much damage and were able to just rush for the rest of the battle. Um, we'll heal with Yangfan if we have to. Yes, Fatal Mirror! <laughs> I just have no idea. Like, it affected Monica, but it didn't do anything. I need to, like, look up what Fatal Mirror does, just because out of curiosity. Ah! Okay, that didn't do a ton of damage. We'll hit her twice. Ooh, that didn't do a lot of damage either. Okay, Yang is almost dead. Monica actually still has a lot of HP, so Yang's gonna heal himself since he's our healer. And everyone else is just gonna attack. Ugh, I kinda wanna heal trucks though. I'm gonna do it, even though it's probably a bad idea. We're still getting three attacks in, so. What happened? Did I beat it? Everyone's disappearing. <laughs> Come back, everyone. I don't know what's going on. I got a trophy. I beat it, you guys. I don't know how because its HP was like, should not have been depleted. I'll take it though. I'll take it. This I've been doing this. I mean, I did this for several days over and over and over hours a day. Then I kind of quit. And then I've been going for a couple hours today already. And like, I don't know how I beat it. It seemed like a glitch or something, but I won. And I will take it. Now we can watch the ending, which I've never seen. This is one of the few Saga games I've never cleared. Let's see, I've cleared Saga 1, Saga 2, Saga 3. I never cleared the original Romancing Saga. I've cleared Romancing Saga 2. Now I've cleared this. I've cleared Saga Frontier. I haven't cleared Saga Frontier 2. I've cleared Unlimited Saga like a thousand times, and then I've cleared Saga Scarlet Grace. So now all I have is Saga Frontier 2 and the original, and I've cleared Minstrel Song. I haven't cleared the DS remakes of Saga 2 and 3. So I still want to clear those two. Wait, why is it destroying the world? Is the world like being born anew or something? I didn't somehow lose, did I? <laughs> I don't remember why. I know there's like a whole ending when you lose, but I don't remember it doing this. So I think, yeah, because I got the trophy, so I had to have won. Okay, so I think the world was destroyed and then born anew? Does that mean everyone died? There's like little galaxies appearing, I'm so confused. Shooting star. Okay, I want to know what happened. Please explain. Yulian, your efforts in protecting Monica are laudable. What does laudable mean? Mikhail, I've decided I want to be with Yulian. I, I want to marry him. Oh my gosh! Your status prevents you from wedding a con owner. I didn't know they got married. Yulian, henceforth she shall bear the title and summon the Baron of Luan! Wow, I have faith that you will serve the kingdom with dignity and grace. He made him a Baron. No one will... Now no one will be able to raise any objections. May you live your life as you see fit. Wow! Mikhail, thank you, thank you! I was not expecting that. My lord. Monica, let's go! <laughs> he's like, okay. Before he was very humble and like, no, I can't accept that. And now he's just like, let's go! <laughs> I 
Uh, this is an astronomer. Uh, his wife's sleeping. Usually he's the one sleeping. Oh, looks, Trax isn't there! There goes Robin, shooting up into the sky. Oh, he came back down as Lime. What is he doing? I'm so confused. He's just looking around. I guess because he has no reason. Is that a uh, Gwen? I forget his name. Because I took a couple weeks off, maybe even like a month or so. I don't remember when my last video on this was. It's probably been over a month now. That I, because I got so frustrated trying to beat this boss. Oh, the lobbies! Hello, lobbies. Where's Boston? I thought he was in that cave. This is the eastern place. There's Bai Mei Yang. Did she just fall over? Is she okay? Whoa! What happened? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Oh, there's what's her name. I love her. I forget her name. I want to call her Yixing, but that's the like city where the clay pots come from in China. <laughs> Is her name Mei Lin? Or is that the card captors girl? <laughs> Look at the fairies. Oh hey, they're actually out in the jungle now. That's cool. Where's Peony? Undine and her uh, harem, they're going nuts. Oh, people are shopping, so that's uh, Fulbright's Business is doing well, I guess. Oh, hey, there's Black. Good old Black Sparrow. He's got his own ship now. There's Nora and Kane. And all the little workers. Oh, was the... Trident back? I didn't see. I didn't even look. Ah, oh, man, I'll have to watch the VOD. The VOD, I'm not streaming. <laughs> that was Muse, and she was out in, like, Pedona. She wasn't in, like, Lowtown or whatever. As Monica and friends faced their final foe beyond the bonds of fate, they never once backed down from oblivion and clawed their way from the precip precipice of death. Heroes all. Though a total eclipse winds from the abyss and a howl from the great dark accosted them, our champions did not falter. Their strength stood toe to toe with the destruction itself, and in victory creation emerged. Were we to know where their path leads them, next led them. Were we to. Uh, I don't know, whatever. Monica got married, that's where it went. Tibby! Tibby's on a boat! With Young! Oh, this is our party, I think. Yeah, there's a uh, boy and Sarah and Ward. And, uh, Young Fan, H. Oh, cool! We had a little, like, uh, recap of their stats. <laughs> That's cute. And he's, like, dancing around. Do I need to press a button? No. Tiberius? This is funny how they, like, dance around for this part. Look at him go. <laughs> Why didn't it show all his stats? Did he have some zeros? Yeah, it must be the ones that have zero and it just doesn't show. That's cool. Where's Trucks? Oh, he's back there. Dancing is so funny. And then Monica. <laughs> just young boy, even though he was just like thrust into the party at the last second. It's 
Sarah? <laughs> Why is it showing Sarah? She wasn't even in the party. That's funny. Show Monica. We want to see Monica. She's the heroine. Yeah, there we go. Dance, Monica. Look at your lovely levels and 729 HP. Good job. Arte Piazza! Okay. This is like. <laughs> They're kind of making me dizzy or something. Oh, we get little. Oh, I want that move. It's called Final Letter. But I've never gotten it before in this game. I just know of it. Ooh, mantis thing. Whoa, what's that? That must be something you have to do in commander mode, which I didn't use commander mode at all. I'm probably gonna play this again. I don't know if I'll uh, make a video of it, but uh, I will play this again with another character. Oh, that was cool. I've never seen that move either, I don't think. Tester in chief. <laughs> There's a tester in chief. Go, Penny. Whoa. I've never seen like any of these waza. This is crazy. <laughs> Show final dragon. Show something I can do. <laughs> Melvin, okay. <laughs> Steve is Mevel, okay. That's weird. Oh, it's probably like Auk. Melvin Auk. Or Oak or something. What is that? Oh my gosh! Wow, I need to play around with commander mode. Masanori Ichikawa. Go, Yulian. Whoa, what's that? <laughs> This is all stuff I've never seen. Like, every single thing they've shown I've never seen. I know about Final Letter, but I've never actually seen it in the game. And all this other stuff, I have no idea what it is. Dragon. I don't remember fighting that. And of course they do like crazy things. Oh, now it's playing battle music. They, they like ran out of ending music for the remaster, so they just throw some battle music in there. Which the battle music in this game is really cool, so I can't complain. There's Katarina. Maybe I'll play her next. I'm curious about her story. Hello, my love. How are you doing? How are you? I just beat Romancing Saga 3. Finally. Finally? How long has yeah. it taken? Um, 45 hours? And the final boss took me so long, because I've been doing it, I took a break for like a month or two, but I was doing it like every night for like hours and couldn't beat it. But I finally beat it today, watching the credits. Now the only Saga game I haven't finished is Saga Frontier 2. I beat all Saga games. Mostly. It was there's like different versions of them. But I've beaten at least one version of each one. Uh, 
and it keeps showing like little clips of the game and they're doing all these crazy moves that I've never seen. So there's a lot of stuff that I didn't unlock in this game. Credits for games are so cool. <laughs> there's a lot. Cool, because lots of people work on them. Yeah, this has been going for a while now. <laughs> That's like business analysts and manager of merchandise and stuff. <laughs> it smells really good. I've used it on my hands a couple times. Oh, it's playing different music. I think this is new music. Were there people tuned in to watch you win? What? Were there people tuned in to watch you win? Uh, I'm recording this one for YouTube. Oh. So... Can they hear me? It's not live. Yeah, they can hear you. You want to say something to your fans? I don't think the people on YouTube really know you. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> you don't know me yet, but you will. But you will. <laughs> well, look at them throw all those little swords. I can't believe it's still showing little clips and still doing... Credits. Credits. I'm going to bed, love. All right. You have a good night, love. Very much. You sleep well. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams to you, love. I'm looking forward to it. That was cool too. Go, Charles. Saga 3 original stuff. Oh my gosh. Tomomi Kobayashi! Yay, I love her. One guy did all the monsters? That's crazy because this game has some really cool monster designs. One programmer. <laughs> wow, one programmer. Like, four sound effects people and one programmer. <laughs> well, here Nova Sakaguchi worked on the production of this game. I didn't know that. Toshikawazu. We love him. Oh, oh this is our team. This is the things we actually did to it. <laughs> this is a little Southern Cross for the end. Robots in Saga 3.
I'm guessing that's the end. Can I press a button here? Is it going to do something else? Oh, it just restarted. <sighs> okay. Well, that's Romancing Saga 3, guys. Uh, let's see how many hours it did take. We're at 45 hours. <sighs> Finally, we are done. Oh, man, that was exhausting. That final battle was something else. That was a really fun game, though. For a saga game, it's probably low on my list. It was a good game. Like, I love all saga games. But I definitely like the others a lot more. This one was just okay. I mean, it was really good. <laughs> all saga games are really good. I don't think there's any saga game that I really like don't think it's that great um even saga 3 i've grown to like a bit it's just very not saga ish but uh i still like it as a game and then um romancy saga 1 on super family one is trash i haven't played it long enough to know if it's really not trash but from what i've played of it it is garbage it's the only saga game i don't like and then Romancy Saga 2 is amazing. That's one of my top three for sure. Maybe top four or five. Definitely top three, I would say. Yeah. Then uh, this was pretty cool. Um, final boss was BS. And I mean, it was a good final boss. It was just really <laughs> ridiculous at some points. And... Um, yeah, it was harder than the Romancing Saga 2 final boss. And uh, Saga Frontier, really good. Um, though it's kind of mid-tier for me. It's a really good game, but like I like a lot of the other games in the series more. Um, Saga Frontier 2, I haven't played enough to really rank. I mean, I've played it quite a bit, but it's just the beginnings. I get to the part where you, the... like. There's like a war thing that happens, like kind of like the war things in this, and then I never get past that. And then um, Unlimited Saga number one, Minstrel Song. I don't know if I put it in top three because Romancy Saga two, Scarlet Grace, and Unlimited Saga are my top three for sure. The Minstrel Song is probably number four. Uh, Unlimited Saga is number one. And then Romancing Saga 2 and Scarlet Grace, I kind of go back and forth on which one of those I like more. It's pretty much whichever one I've played the most recently is number two, and then the other one's number three. And then Minstrel Song is probably number four. But those are all, like, S-tier. All four of those. Um, I don't think I'd put anything else S-tier. Maybe Saga 2. No, that's an A tier. Saga 1 is A tier. Saga 3 is B, B tier. Romancy Saga 3 is B tier. Saga Frontier is A tier. And then uh, Imperial Saga is like S tier. <laughs> I know it was just a dumb like browser game, but man, that game was amazing. And the story wasn't that bad. And uh, that was just so much fun to play. Uh, Reuniverse is actually pretty good. The story is not bad for a mobile game, and uh, that game's pretty fun. But I did drop it just because it was so grindy. It just was so demanding that I couldn't play it anymore. And uh, but it's it's good for a mobile game. And then uh, Eclipse was okay, and then that first what is it called Emperor Saga was not fun. That's down there with Romance and Saga 1. Emperor <laughs> Saga. Um, no, I didn't play it too much. I played after they had that, like, ice whatever expansion. And then uh, I played it for a little bit. And then I think it got shut down, like, not long after that. And I, but it was not very fun. It was really annoying. But Imperial Saga was amazing. Imperial Saga. For, for what it was. 
I get I can't put it S tier because it doesn't compete with like Unlimited Saga and Scarlet Grace and Romancy Saga Two and Minstrel Saga. It's not as good as this. I'll put it in A tier. I liked Imperial Saga more than I liked Romancy Saga Three. <laughs> I think I really liked Imperial Saga. Okay, anyway, this video is like really long. It's already forty five minutes, so I'm gonna cut it here. I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching me on my journey through Romancy Saga 3, and um, I want to play it again. Uh, I gotta come up with an idea for another party. I actually planned out eight different parties so that I would use every character and kind of, there was a theme to each one. Like, I want to do, like, a femme fatale uh, like, all cool female characters for uh katarina's story and uh i wanted to do a magic focus playthrough for thomas's story i wanted to do all the non-human characters for sarah's story um and uh i don't I don't remember what I was going to do for... Maybe I'll do the Femme Fatale for Ellen's story. I don't know. I don't remember what my themes were, but I had, like, all these themes set out. I planned them all on my journal and everything, so... <laughs> <sighs> Romancing Saga 3. What a game. That was great. Is it still A tier? Still A tier. Or did I say it was B tier? It was just B tier. But still, B tier is better than C tier, D tier, E tier. And then F tier is, um... No, there's no F tier. E tier is Romancing Saga 1 and Emperor Saga. <laughs> Eclipse is, like, Imperial Saga Eclipse is probably C tier. Um... I'd put Re-Universe in B tier. And then nothing's in D tier. The tier and E tier are like that much worse than everything else. But everything C tier and above is still is good games. And then um So this is this is a solid B B tier. I would say. Yeah. <laughs> I finished with Saga 3. Okay, I gotta end the video. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one and bye bye.